What's up? It's Ruby. Drink with me. Today we are doing a Cedar Creek Sauvignon Blanc and I'll also take you with me to the winery. Remember to subscribe and hit the like button. All right, let's go. So I recently went to Kelowna, Okanagan in British Columbia in Canada and that area is really big on wine and there are lots of wineries there so let's open this cedar creek and let it air a bit um i visited that during a uh, fall afternoon and it was not too busy the winery is beautiful so the history of the winery is not too old it's only started around uh, 1980s which which is when the Okanagan area started making wines and they recently rebuilt the whole winery structures I think because it looks so nice so modern so when I first drove in um, the outside is more like the like brick stone very simplistic design um, and then inside uh, the tasting room is just gorgeous uh, glass everywhere very very high ceiling very uh, very open very bright and modern inside the tasting room and uh, they have sit down tasting session that you can book and do tastings or you can also walk in um, but I didn't do that um, it takes a, a quite some time so we'll leave enough time if you're planning to do that but the winery just just gorgeous and then it's just perfect for I think uh, events such as weddings or uh, any uh, or other celebrations so the winery is on the slope and it's over overlooked down to the Okanagan Lake in British Columbia Okanagan Valley is a very nice Taehua it's a glacier deposit valley so people found out that it is a great place to plant vines and make wines so this one is called uh, Platinum 2019 Border Fista Savignon Blanc it's like that and it's 100% Savignon Blanc and let's see this Savignon Blanc comes from a tiny west facing slope in our Border Fista vineyard okay so it shares a fence with Washington State okay so this particular wine did not plant the the grapes did not come from <laughs> the location that i was in it was from another vineyard uh, the hot afternoon sun and dry soils of pure sand produce small bunches with intense concentration and depth blah 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 um use french oak and steel i think okay so let's try this they also have a restaurant there if you want to eat and uh, it's just a nice place check it out i'll link the winery info below but it's just a gorgeous place it, it is it was actually my first time ever uh, visiting this winery because i was searching what are the most visited wineries and this is one of the top so i went in and check it out since i have never been all right, let's see. Savignon Blanc. Ooh, it smells quite sour. It's very citrus. Ooh. Uh, which is typical for a Savignon Blanc. So I'm expecting that as well. I actually have tried this in the winery. I asked for a few wines, white wines from there, and I picked this one at the end. All right, let's give it a try. Cheers. So this is quite acidic. It's very acidic. It's fragrant too. It's got a nice fragrant, kind of like passion fruit. Not too sweet. Not sweet actually. Like a tiny bit, like but not sweet. It's got a very fragrant, floral fragrant, and got a um, quite acidic kick to it. Interestingly, at the end there, there's a little aftertaste of 
hard to describe. I wouldn't say soil, but it's got a little bit of that. A little bit of the... It's actually not, not soil. So at the end there, it has a little bit of like wood, woody oakiness because it's been aged in wood barrels. And it's a little bit bitter, like grapefruit. If you eat a grapefruit, you know that bitterness and citrus and the sourness from the grapefruit. Yeah, it's like that. Okay, so overall, this is like grapefruit. Quite bitter, actually. I'm like, uh, uh, uh. if you can stand that, don't don't try it. Don't try it. Yeah, uh, it's not too intense. It's not too lengthy. Um, not. It's quite light, light body, and quite dry. It will dry out your mouth, and it's quite acidic. You would want to eat with this wine. Like you want food with this wine. Yeah, it's quite sour now. Like, it's even more sour. It's like eating grapefruit peels. <laughs> the skin of the grapefruit is quite, quite tangy. Tangy and sour. Alright, it, this is quite uh, intense. So, it's not for everybody. It's, it's like... Uh, uh, uh. But if you like that, uh, then go for it. <laughs> Anyway, the, the winery is really nice, not too big, um, but it's very modern, design is superb, go check it out, check out the architecture if you have a chance in um, visiting uh, Kelowna in the Okanagan Valley. Cool, I'm glad I went, um, I hope to do more of this, so if you like this video, give this a thumbs up, thank you for watching. Uh, follow me on Instagram, I post every day there. Subscribe for more wine stuff, hit the bell button here. Drink wine and I'll see you in my next one. Cheers!